What is good YouTube, Watched you here with a video on Arrow Season 5, Episode 11, going over the second change synopsis as there's three interesting points. So a few days ago I made a video about Felicity potentially being the Black Canary. Comic book tweeted a similar story and then Mark Guggenheimer said no. And then interesting, every other YouTuber kind of copied my video, but that's not going to go, to it. go into that, as that's how YouTube works. So we've got a very interesting synopsis to go over. So it goes like this. In his quest to take down Kovar, Oliver gets help from a surprising source. Talia al Ghul hover when she reveals what she wants from him in exchange. Oliver isn't sure if... Oliver isn't sure he can help her. So this led me to believe that this, obviously because she's Talia al Ghul and in the Batman history she had a kid with Batman. So this led me to believe that he kind of, he isn't sure he can help her. I think this is referring to that Talia al Ghul asked Oliver to impregnate her. So Talia al Ghul wants a baby with him. I know this sounds a bit far-fetched, but that is the only conclusion I can come to. Seeing as from the synopsis, this appears to be in the Russian flashbacks and not in the current day. If it was in the current day, current day, I would say that Talia al Ghul asks Oliver to be head, to be the demon's head again and to be in charge of the League of Assassins. Or potentially a resurrect Raz al Ghul, as Oliver did say during a Facebook live chat that somebody gets resurrected during this season, and Raz al Ghul could be a good candidate. But like I said, this synopsis implies that it's in the past and not in the current day, and it also implies that Tali al Ghul is a guest star, so I presume she's only going to be in. Arrow for a few episodes, which isn't cool. I think she should be awesome to stick around for a while. But let me know, what do you think Tali Algal wants in exchange for her helping Oliver take down Kovar? So then the next bit, this is more interesting to me. Felicity attempts to hack the NSA to help free Diggle, but when her online efforts are flagged flagged she faces off against an unknown adversary and as soon as i thought this i thought i thought back to the time when everyone's everyone said that felicity is going to become the oracle because she had the accident like the oracle so as we all know barbara gordon is the oracle and the origins of her turning to oracle was soon after Crisis on Infinite Earth, Batgirl's story was streamlined. Uh, she retired because she was injured by the Joker. She would never walk again. However, rather than just giving up, Barbara changed the way she fought crime, became Oracle, a computer guru, able to find any information on the internet. As Oracle, Barbara was an invaluable aid to the Batman family, becoming a member of the Justice League of America, a mentor for the new Batgirl, and uh, help form the birds of prey, etc. So, uh, at the moment, no one's been able to stop Felicity in terms of being like a crazy hacker. Her dad kind of got close, and her ex boyfriend kind of got close. Um, but yeah, I think this will be pretty cool if she does go up against the Oracle as Barbara Gordon. But I can't see this happening, seeing as Barbara Gordon is on Gotham, and Gotham is a Fox program. A lot of the kind of Batman Fox characters are only for the Gotham show. I know we've on Supergirl we've got Maggie, which is kind of related to kind of the Catwoman storyline in Gotham, in the Batman, sorry. But uh, yeah, it would be pretty cool if this was referring to Oracle versus Felicity. That would be an awesome, awesome storyline. Let me know what you think about my comments down below and then the last bit has got the internet talking again and that's why i mentioned mark guggenheim saying at the start that felicity definitely well he said no that she isn't going to be the new um, black canary so then it goes meanwhile curtis tells the team about a new vigilante tina he uncovered he uncovered online who's been wrecking havoc all over the country 
So obviously what's going to happen here is they're going to track her down. Oliver's going to try and get get her to his way of thinking. And then she'll most likely join Team Arrow. But everyone's online is saying that she's going to become the new Black Canary. Um, yeah, potentially they will because we've all got to go back to the kind of Laurel scene where Laurel said, don't let me be the last person to wear the, the Black Canary suit. So if this does happen, it will most likely be in towards the end of the season. And if someone else does become the Black Canary, I won't actually be that annoyed. Because although Katie Cassidy is the Black Canary to me, it would be better to have someone else as a Black Canary if they're going to keep the Black Canary character going within this show. But if this is the case, this definitely means that Laurel Lance, will, Black Siren, will not turn into Black Canary but it would be cool to have a different version of Black Canary alongside Black Siren at some point. So I'm 90% sure that Tina will be coming the Black Canary persona, regardless to whether or not if she wears the Black Canary suit. But this will come apparent after episode 10, 11 and 12. So um, yeah, Arrow is looking pretty strong for the next few episodes. It is back next week. This episode doesn't actually air to the second, I think the second of second or first of February. Obviously, episode ten. Who are you? Airs on the twenty fifth of January, which is next week. So, guys, like always, let me know what you think about this video and the kind of thoughts what I've said on my synopsis breakdown. I don't usually like to do synopsis breakdown because I find them boring. It's just boring. Just boring. I find them boring. But um, yeah, there's some interesting things. So I think uh, a video was sanctioned in this case. So I'll catch you in another video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.